Here we are in Fox Hall on Dexter Street. And this is the home of David Gregory, the MSNBC journalist who lives there with his wife, whose name is something like Beth Wilkinson. She was a Fannie Mae lobbyist. Uh, in one of our other videos, we have a tape of Alan Greenspan at Andrea Mitchell's house, also of MSNBC. Andrea, of course, bought that house before she uh, got married to Alan Greenspan. I think it's funny that they are both connected to people who could have and should have known something about the mortgage and financial crisis, and yet, <laughs> did we hear them predict it or report it? No. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to bicycle down this steep hill. You know what? I think I better not. I think I better just walk down this steep hill on my bike. Um, Fox Hall's a really exclusive neighborhood in D.C. All these houses are several million dollars. Uh, they are, of course, uh, totally lily white. There's David's house again. Totally lily white. We're really close to NBC's offices, instantly. He could practically run to work or bike to work. I'm sure he doesn't, but he could. Um, anyway, um, this neighborhood's less than 5% African American, even though the city's 55% African American, it used to be more. Of course, this wealthy section of this zip code is even less than 5% African American, even though the neighborhood may be like 5.2, not the neighborhood, the zip code may be like 5.2. Percent African American, and uh, these liberal Democrats all choose to live in places like this while they spit at you and call you a racist if you do not support their plans to increase government debt and the devaluation of the money supply and the expansion of the fiat currency and increase taxes and regulate you. If you don't support those things, you're a racist. But they all, even though they live in a city that's 55% African American, come here and live in all white neighborhoods with other multimillionaires in multi-million dollar houses. And that's true of all of them. You pick one and I'll go look their property up and take a picture of it for you. I will assure you that if they have any national fame, whether it's Rachel Maddow in an all white zip code in Manhattan in a one $0.25 million dollar condo, or whether it's Chris Matthews in Chevy Chase, Maryland, or Andrea Mitchell and Jay Varney, kind of close to here. That's just true in general. So, uh, even though I've done something that's made the light go wonky, and even though there's some kind of car that's trying to park behind me or is following me, I guess it's trying to go into a garage, my habit is, if there's anything interesting to look at, to do these tapes for about 10 minutes. Um, I think that, uh, except for the fact that the light is a little weird and I can't figure out how to fix it, this is kind of an interesting looking street with some interesting looking houses. Oh, there, I think the, uh, I think the light just got better. So, I'm going to continue until either the battery dies or the 10 minutes are up. If I'm lucky, <laughs> I will be able to hop on my bicycle so that this will be much speedier. But I may not be so lucky. One of the things that's funny about these neighborhoods is, is that uh, they're always surrounded by parkland. So the reason there's so many trees is that ahead of us is something called Glover Arch Archibald, oh, sorry, Archibald Glover Park. Just like when we were near Andrew Mitchell's house, there was Battery Kimball Park. So there's always a lot of parkland. Um, basically parkland that is not accessible by the metro system and usually not very accessible by a bus. If the weather were bad at all, you'd have to walk many blocks after you got off the bus. Um, especially to get to the playgrounds or interesting parts of the parks. So these are parks that are maintained by a 55% African American city. But they're not accessible except to the people in the immediate area as a rule. Um, and these people who complain about you, 
not supporting taxes in the welfare state all choose to come and live here in neighborhoods that function with that type of political economy. So it's interesting, hypocrisy and racism among liberal Democrats, like David Gregory, whose house is at the beginning of this tape. Anyway, <clears throat> the jerkiness of the tape is because I am walking while on my bike. And I think, yeah, it's still, it's still too, too steep here for me to start off on the bike while, uh, <laughs> while holding the iPad in one hand. So, 